Hello and welcome, Capricorn. You are watching Thomas the Tower reading with myself, Thomas Janak. This is your April 2023 general reading, and I was already shuffling here, and then I forgot. Oh, should probably press recording. <laughs> so, any case, um, you are watching Thomas the Tower readings. Please like, subscribe, and share. It really does help the channel out. Um, and like anybody else, the channel also wants to grow, and we can only do this with your help. So. Also, if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Now, Capricorns, what we do here, we will look at the overall energy for the month of April 2023. Before we then look at your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, um, healing that needs to happen, that sort of stuff. Before we then finally look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of April 2023, don't mind my, my appearance, I was just washing my hair and um, and because I embrace my curls now, every time I, 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 I blow dry it, I get an afro, which I don't really want to have. <laughs> so I just let it sort of dry naturally and in the meantime, I look a bit like a dork, you know, a bit, a bit nerdy, but then again, to be fair, I am quite nerdy. So that probably is appropriate. Anyway, are you ready? <clears throat> Let's look at the overall energy for the months of April 2023 for the sign of Capricorn. Now, I'm drawn to the star seed deck that I'm not often using. So when that comes in, it only comes in for the last four star signs that I'm recording, which is Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. That in itself might tell me something, even though I haven't quite heard yet what it is. The point is, it's a completely different energy that um, I'm using to assess the months of April for these signs, if that makes sense, right? In any case, what you're being asked in the month of April is to look at life and instead of going like, oh, this is, doesn't quite work and this is really difficult, blah, 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 see the sweetness in things. Everything that you can, that you can extract that is positive, use that and go, like, okay, there is some positivity in it. And if it is not enough, and this is, again, the whole point here, then you have to bring your so-called unconsciousness forward to be conscious about looking at what is it I really want. So in order for you to prioritize, it doesn't help when you're semi-depressed, uh, um, when you're semi-tired, or when you're in fact not just semi-tired or depressed. Once you have these thoughts of life is not great, that's unfortunately how, you're, how you will behave towards life. And all the guides are saying, if you see potential rather than issues, the universe can change and you can change your life into potential and potentially better opportunities, better future. But it's partly, well, actually to a large extent, it's on you to make that happen. Right? Doesn't necessarily uh, sound so easy, but the point they're making is uh, how come you get bogged down? How come when people say shit, you fight them on it? Let them say whatever the heck they want, right? You just look at the positives that your life has because that also uh, will allow you to make changes much quicker, right? So that was your overall energy for the month of April 2023. We're looking at the signs of Capricorn. Right, oh, I love that. When you have your, your emotional core here, <clears throat> This is all about, and the terminology is quite, is quite sweet, fall into my arms. Nothing works for you unless you trust again. Capricorn, obviously you're deep as a person, so you cannot really protect yourself. You need to fall in love first before you figure out if this was the right choice, if that makes sense. Um, and you have to surrender to, to how you're feeling before you can then change it and claim more. But the point is, if there is any changes that you want to make in an intimate relationship, or if you are a person that is now interested and ready, finally, whatever that means, to manifest a new relationship, you have to ask for it to come to you and literally fall into your arms with an open heart and an open mind and don't have doubts, even though doubts are quite normal. <clears throat> They just will not work for you, right? It's also interesting because the energy here about falling into my arms has opposites in energy. <clears throat> so maybe you will have to learn, and maybe that's a good thing, 
uh, to not attract the same type that you know doesn't work for you. Just a thought. In any case, that's that. Let's have a look at the opportunities or at opportunities as the percentage of CU in the months of April 2023. Like I said, you're watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, when it comes to opportunities, I said that for quite a lot of signs this month. And so here I am continuing saying that opportunities are not super abundant for any sign I've, I've recorded so far. And I'm only I'm only uh, two signs away. Obviously, you're Capricorn and have Aquarius and Pisces to do. Point is, the over energy of the month already tells me here, uh, based on the readings that, I, that I've already done, that opportunities are more on the sparse side. The point they're making with you, when, it look, when you look at... Um, at your opportunities what the guides are saying to you is nothing you've been through and it sounds very wrong but it's just the way i'm getting this nothing you've been through matters until you now take the time to say like okay let me just zoom out here let me just step back here and reflect on so far what is my life about and from that new wisdom that you gain from understanding oh all right <laughs> um so there will be a bit of thinking that you have to be doing here uh, before you are fully capable of creating the life that you want by understanding what you don't want if that makes sense really really important the point is that you have to be loyal to yourself and um the energy here again it's 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 the star seed deck that i'm using this time and um the energy is of Horus, and Horus is related to the all-seeing eye. But Horus is also related, shamanically speaking, to the peacock. And the peacock has this beautiful wheel that he puts up all the time, and people find him charming. But he puts it up because it has a thousand eyes, which then confuse predators. So maybe when it comes to you planning anything, wanting new opportunities, don't react kindly to things that aren't for you just because in the back of your mind you can't quite see new things coming in. Again, that's some of the things that will probably notice when you actually zoom out, right? Is it possible that you just take the next best thing because it pays well or it sort of um, alleviates, or whatever, whatever the word is, any, any current problems? The point I'm getting for you strongly here is that opportunities, your problem is not necessarily attracting your problem is attracting what really fulfills you in the long run hence zoom out step back assess when it comes to me creating a life for myself what were the stumbling blocks or indeed are the stumbling blocks that cause me to not get there right tall order right that's for you to do that was your reading for April 2023. Remember, please, this is a general reading. It may not, may not resonate with all of you. The point I'm always making, it is my experience that people who need to, to hear a message ultimately find it. Since you're here, a lot of the things that the guides have said when we looked at the three different sections of your months, April 2023, a lot of stuff there should make sense to you because the message is for you. Anyway, guys, see you all next month. See you soon. Bye-bye.